Hello everyone. I'm going to do some analysis in this game because I find it interesting um, and uh, especially the ending with all the tactics there. So um, let's start. Um, this is uh, um, Annalise uh, Fide Master against King's Crusher and um, we have the Sicilian defense, the open Sicilian um, the dragon variation. Now uh, the most popular uh, moves are bishop e2, the classical variation, or bishop e3, the Yugoslav attack, uh, white plays g3, um, uh, kind of rarely seen move, uh, the um, Fianchetto variation as you might call it. Um, now this is pretty much mainline and uh, now this is move that has been played by grandmasters too. Uh, this is mainline and uh, now this exchange and uh, white played uh, knight f4 kicking the queen back um, white could try uh, sorry about that uh, white could try um, playing g4 and trying to uh, kick black's queen around which is uh, a little bit stranded there uh, for example uh, the game uh, Valerga, Diego Valerga versus Pelikian uh, Jefferson Pelikian uh, to um, uh, players rated over 2400 uh, played uh, a game in 2002 um, where black won the game but uh, well um, black should play um, one of these two moves as I'm showing you for example uh, here knight c6 uh, it's a bad move uh, now queen uh, e1 and black's queen is kind of trapped and uh, now uh, Pretty much no matter what uh, black does, if he doesn't decide to sack his knight or something uh, on g4, uh, then uh, knight f4 will be played, queen will, queen will have to go to h6, and then uh, discovered attack on the queen, uh, knight to e6, winning an exchange, the rook on f8. So that would be uh, good for white. And uh, well, uh, that's the reason why in this position. Uh, h5 was played in the game unfortunately um, well for King's Crusher I guess uh, he would not like to play this variation very much because uh, after knight f4 um, well uh, this is just uh, a draw because the queen is getting kicked around as you see so um, that was not what uh, White played in the game. In the game, White decided to try and win and play g5 here. And now um, that's the rest of the game. Just quickly flick through the moves. Um, um, here, this end game, um, this is here is about equal. And uh, then uh, White just went wrong. And uh, here, for example, uh, this was a blunder, yeah, a blunder, and now he mate. So that's the game I wanted to show you just real quick. Um, in the game, uh, knight 4 was played, and so instead of g5, knight 4 was played, and queen went back. And now um, this is about equal, both sides developing. Um, I prefer black here, and now in this position. Uh, well, uh, white could try taking on a7 um, but he didn't he played this and now uh, knight takes b2 is the best move uh, if instead for example uh, you would decide to take with the bishop first and then take on b2 uh, white would be winning with a4 because the knight is uh, trapped and the queen can't help it because it has to defend e7 so uh, white would win the knight and uh, yes now uh, this is uh, good as well, king takes g7 is good, um, not taking the exchange because uh, the dark squares would be weak and as well and the knight if he took on d1 would be uh, trapped as well so uh, white would get two pieces for the rook and uh, that would be good for white. Now on the other hand uh, white played uh, e5, I'm not quite sure what the idea of e5 was and uh, well uh, but uh, the exchange can be taken here. Just take the exchange. See, and uh, um, white has no uh, way to. Uh, well, uh, white has no compensation. There is no compensation. 
would be just taking the exchange. I was wondering uh, why King Swasher didn't do it. Um, I guess it looks kind of dangerous, but um, it's all fine. It's the best move, clearly. Um, instead, uh, instead of taking exchange, let's uh, uh, see, four was played. Now um, this move is bad too. Um, now this exchange happens, and uh, now f5 is the best move, and the rook is kind of trapped now. Um, the rook has to stay on the fourth rank, otherwise uh, queen d4 check is winning the other rook. The rook can unfortunately go to e1 to defend the rook because the queen is in the way. And the only two safe squares for the rook are h4 and uh, a4. And both of these can be challenged with uh, g5 and b5, so uh, why it's just losing, for example, uh, rook h4, uh, g5, rook a4, b5 and now uh, just uh, well the engine suggests this move where uh, we have this check here winning the rook the way well uh, decides not to win the rook actually but uh, here um, rook can be taken sorry for that that was just my engine freaking out a uh, bit so I'll just take the rook here the rook would be trapped along the fourth rank so uh, why uh, black is winning material by force um, instead well uh, why played um, rook e5 which is probably even worse because it allows this invasion uh, which uh, at first sight looks very uh, dangerous but uh, uh, after this continuation which is best moves um, uh, King's Russia, uh, low on time, played uh, Queen C5 check. Um, uh, sorry, Queen C4 check, which uh, forces the exchange of queens and results in an easily winning endgame where uh, he created a mating net. And the rest of the game, just show you real quick, that's um, completely winning for black. And this is made to come in two moves. Uh, but uh, instead of Queen C4, just for the sake of theoretical uh, calculation um, g5 check is the best move and now uh, if uh, for example uh, king h5 that's a mate in 5 after queen f3 check if now the pawn blocks then there is uh, queen takes g4 uh, king h6 uh, rook h um, uh, rook takes h2 mate so uh, uh, white has to play either um, king takes g4 or king h6. If king h6, then there is rook h2 check. Um, now king takes g5 is the only move. And uh, after queen g4 check, king f6, uh, rook h6 check, queen e uh, king e5, um, queen e4 is made. Um, let's go back. Um, so. Uh, here in this position, uh, instead of uh, sorry, um, yeah, well, uh, yeah, that's forced, right? And now let's look at king takes g4, uh, g5, sorry, um, queen g4 check, king f6, uh, queen g6 check, uh, king e5, rook e2 check, um, uh, king f4 and queen e4, uh, queen g4 mate. So that's just the lines, it's a forced mate, and um, well, that would be a nice finish to the game, of course, uh, but uh, the practical uh, choice uh, of trading the queens is uh, probably even preferable with so uh, little time left to calculate all the mating lines. And note that in this position here, um, um, it's not very easy to lose for black. So, uh, for example, uh, even the move b6 is not losing. White has no way to mate whatsoever. And, well, uh, let's try that. Attacking h7 with a mating threat. Uh, now there is still this variation with taking there. And uh, this is going to be mating. Now even uh, rook takes h2 check is mating. It's kind of sharp, but um, it has it under control. Well, now rook interposes, and then queen h3, uh, queen um, h mates. So 
Um, this is uh, from the move um, f5 here. Um, the game is completely lost in white. f5 is the best move, by the way. Very good move, trapping the rook. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this game. Um, my, my point is uh, um, how do you handle uh, such, posi such, the, such positions like this one? Uh, it looks very dangerous. You are a rook up and uh, you have maybe little time left. Um, you need to calculate a mate or something. You are afraid of getting mated yourself. Um, in many of these positions, uh, you can just, uh, if you're sitting there in a blitz game with just a few seconds, just uh, you can most of the time just go for these checks, and there is going to be such a resource as queen c4 check, uh, which is simplifying easily, especially if you're up in material at the beginning of the combination. Well, thank you very much for your attention, and um, hope to see you next time.